Welcome back or welcome to my channel you guys. So today I am back with another cheap Amazon wig video. Yes ma'am, I know it's been a while, it's been a while. But I'm back and I got three wigs for you guys that I'm gonna try on today. Y'all probably already seen them in the thumbnail, including the one I'm wearing right here. So yeah, I'm not even gonna do no rambling, no whole bunch of talking, we just gonna jump right into the video. So if y'all want the details on these cheap Amazon wigs that I found, then keep on watching. All right y'all, let's start with the first one. I'm not going in any order. I'm trying to grab this one. So this is the packaging. This is from QD Tizer Hair Collection. This is their packaging, their logo, all of that. And as y'all can see the color through the bag, it's a pink one. So let's take her out. Also comment down below if y'all want me to do like installs with synthetic wigs. I've never done like a dedicated video to me installing a synthetic wig. So let me know if y'all want to see that because I will do that and I think that would be fun. But anyway, so this is it. Strap the package, hair net, you know, the use. I'm gonna take it out of the hair net. And it's got stuffing. Okay. And then here is the construction on her. This is a T part 13 by 4 by 1. Is that what it's called? It's got two combs in the front, comb in the back, and adjustable straps. But yeah, this is her pink. Um, let me read the details. I bought these wigs months ago, y'all, and I haven't done this video. I bought this like March. Alright, so this is their pink lace front wig, long straight hair, pink wig, glueless heat resistant synthetic lace front wigs for women. They kill me with these titles, y'all. But anyway, it's a straight texture, as you can see. And I'm trying to find the length. 22 inches. So let's go ahead and try her on. I'll put some makeup on the lace. And then I'm going to cut the lace off. And then put it on. Let me see. Where's my makeup? For my lace color, I actually mixed the LA Girl Pro Concealer Beautiful Bronze and my Fenty Beauty Foundation in 420. Oh, by the way, this came inside the package. Just the only thing that was in there was some wig caps. I love those. I will say... The hairline does need some plucking. I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, but it does need some plucking. I'm probably not gonna pluck it right now, but if I install this unit, then I'll pluck it. It's more of like a try-on type of video, just like showing y'all. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. So y'all know how my Amazon wig videos go. Um, I really just try them on and like, just to give y'all an idea of the wig for when you do install it. The hairline isn't bad. It's a little dense so up against my hand. If y'all can see, it needs some plucking. But anyway, I got my hot comb ready, my wax stick, so I'ma do what I can for it. But let's try her on. Well, she's definitely big hair friendly because y'all saw how I just slid that right on. Y'all know how I be feeling about that. She's big hair friendly for sure. And definitely giving 13 ear to ear. It's actually past my ear. So we love that. So you know, some of these companies do not be giving you your 13 inches. Let me comb it a little bit. I'm gonna get my wax stick because these flyaways are everywhere bro It's the flyaways that's killing me. That's what I can't stand about straight synthetic units. It's not shedding, so that's good. That's a plus. Not shedding or tangling. Big head friendly, 13 inches ear to ear. She's soft, she's really soft. I like that. All right, I'm gonna put some makeup in the part. Y'all see how that part is getting all defined? Yeah, that's how you gotta finesse these synthetic wigs because them parts be dense. Y'all see that? See how a different concealer makes?
Okay, so here's the first one. We're giving cherry blossom pink, petal pink, you know, cotton candy pink. I actually really like this unit. It's like I said, she's big head friendly, really soft, doesn't shed or tangle so far, but y'all know how synthetic wigs are. After some time, it's gonna start all that tangling and stuff. But like, it's not tangling right now at all. Like I've ran my fingers through it, the comb through it several times. Like I got no hair just then, like none. No hair. But yeah, it's giving the 13 inches ear to ear, the parting space. It is a T part, but the parting space back, it looks pretty good with the concealer in the part. Like I said, all she really needs is some plucking and you can spray her down for a quick install and be done. Like nice little colorful unit. If you're into color wigs, this would be a good one for you. And yeah, all you gotta do is hot comb it. Maybe run the straightener over it a couple times and you're really good to go. But I like her though. Like y'all see that part? Like that concealer, concealer is your best friend with synthetic wigs. That's what what you need but yeah like isn't she so cute i really like this the only thing that really kills me is flyaways which y'all know how that is with straight synthetic wigs the flyaways be they be flying bro they be flying yeah but i think this is really cute Ooh, miss cherry blossom yeah Mm-hmm. But well, let me stand up and do a link check, of course. 22 inches, I'm 5'3", and this is where it stops at on me. If I put it to the back, this is where it stops. It goes all the way to my butt, so. I should have got some bobs because bobs are a good style for the summer, you know it's hot, all that hair on you. But if you're looking for like a colorful, long straight unit, this is a good one for you. But yeah, I'ma give her a nine out of 10. Like I said, the flyaways just really get on my nerves. That really kills me. But load it up with the wax stick. Yeah, get you a wax stick. I really like this wax stick, the 24 for our even sleek extra firm hold and I got strawberry it smells so good I haven't tried any of the other scents but I love strawberry it smells so good but yeah nine out of ten for Miss Cherry Blossom mm-hmm so yeah on to the next wig all right y'all this is the packaging she comes in y'all can see the color through the bag I think this came with a wig cap but I took it out because the wigs were just laying right here and I was installing a wig one day and I saw a wig cap inside of this one and I just took it so I think it came with one but I already used it so it's not in here but anyway we're unboxing her so this is her straight out the bag this is a little blue unit another color unit but yeah it's inside of her hair net and she's a curly girl mm -hmm. stuffing and then here's the construction. So I guess this is a 13 by four or a 13 by something. They don't look like four inches from here to here. But anyway, this is the construction. It's got lace, it's got two combs in the front, a comb in the back and adjustable straps. Let me read y'all the details on her. I'm excited for this one. I've actually seen this one. I just had to try this. Like I'll be seeing this on Amazon all the time and I just had to have her. So let me see the details on Miss Girl. We're gonna call her Blue Raspberry. Yeah, okay, so this came with this. I was wondering where this came from. It was just laying on top, but this is FSL wigs. This is the card right here. This is their Instagram. And then inside the card is just some of their other units. That's really all that's in here. Yeah, this is by FSL Wigs on Amazon. This is their blue lace front wig, long body wave wig, synthetic hair, look natural wigs for women. They need to do better with their titles because that didn't even make no sense. So y'all see the body wig, y'all see the curls. I don't see a length on her in the description. But anywho, she looks pretty lengthy. Let me put some makeup on the lace, cut the lace off, and then we're gonna try her on. I'm excited for this one. Okay, where's my brush? Stuff just be going missing. Oh, here it is. Oh, let me show y'all the hairline before I cut all the lace off. Well, I done cut off the whole left side, but this is the hairline. Definitely need some plucking too. Hairline's pretty dense on this. I would definitely pluck it. That's just me. I don't like my hairlines looking crazy. No, man. Okay, lace is cut. Let's put her on. This is the moment where we see if it's big hair friendly. Cause I put it on on camera now. I put it on right here in front of y'all. Okay. You kind of slid right on a little bit tighter than the last one, but she definitely still big head friendly. Like I'm not fighting with it. So I'm just putting the combs in so it'll stay in place. I used to never use the combs on my wigs and that's really surprising to me because I'm, I'm trying to understand how my wigs should stay on because I feel like when you put the combs in, you don't have any trouble with it sliding back. Like if you, with human hair wigs or really with any wigs, even synthetic, you put the combs in, you don't have the trouble with it sliding back off your head throughout the install if you have it in like a week and it starts like sliding back slowly. You keep them combs in, it stays right where you laid it at and you can wear it for like two to three weeks at a time if you install it with lace glue. Yeah, this hairline is definitely real dense. Look at that. Ooh, this is giving costume. She needs some work for sure. Let me go ahead and part it and put concealer in the part. 
But the lace is giving 13 ear to ear. So we know that much. And it's big head friendly. She's pretty tangly. Me trying to run my fingers through these curls. She's definitely tangly and it's shedding. Also not the softest hair ever. It feels kind of, I don't know. It's definitely not as soft as that last one. I really don't know how to explain it, but it's not as soft as that last one. And it's tangling and, ugh. and I just took it out the bag. I mean, I know it's a body wave unit, but my God. I'm just gonna hot comb this area right here and put some wax right here. Okay, well that helped a lot with the, it looks real wiggy. Like I said, the hairline is already dense, but then it definitely look wiggy in the top, but hot comb in this area right here is helping. Yeah, and then I'm sure this concealer will help too. I'm gonna brush it out with the brush too, because ugh, it's giving costume, bro. It's giving costume. Let me slap some concealer in the part. My camera's gonna die. I hope it don't cut off before I get this concealer in the part. I'm gonna change the battery. I gotta go get my other battery. But let me just slap some concealer right here real quick just to see if it bring it alive because i'm getting a little sad about this one okay that helped with the part i mean y'all can see um but it's still, mm, I don't know. Let me change my battery. Okay, y'all. So it really doesn't look like, let me back up. Like if I stand up, like it's not terrible. It's really thick. Let's start there. It's really thick. So the last one, I don't know if I mentioned that about the density on the last one. Really full. Y'all know I don't play that thin mess with my wigs. But yeah, it's really full. Like she's super thick. But like it doesn't look bad from a distance. Like, but it kind of does. Like I said, if you like pluck it, pluck this hairline right here, like the part is looking good. Like it's looking, once you put that concealer in there, the part is not a problem. This area right here is not a problem. Done flatten this out real nice, you know? Let me see if I brush this out. I want these tangles to come out, but then I don't want to brush all the curls out. Ooh, look at all that blue hair. But yeah, y'all saw how tangly she was. Maybe if you cut some layers in it. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one, y'all. Like, it's just giving real costumey to me. Like, it's just not giving what I thought it would. I mean, the curls are curled. They're very much there. But like I said, it tangles so bad. And like, I just brushed it all out and it's still tangling. Like, I brushed all the tangles out and it's tangling already. I don't know, y'all. I'm really not feeling this one for real. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna give this one like a 5 out of 10. I'm just not feeling it. Like I said, it's tangling. It's shedding. It's just looking real wiggy and costumey like. The part is good. Um, Definitely need some plucking. Maybe just need some work. I don't know. But it's still like the tangling and all it's just it's giving costume it's giving halloween it's giving the hair you slap on a little doll like that's what it's giving me so yeah five out of ten for miss blue raspberry and then like it just not the softest like it just i don't know i don't know i just mm. On to the next wig. All right, y'all. So this is the last wig and this is the packaging for her. It reminds me of a brand I've already bought from before. I thought this was um, Joe Deer something, but it says style icon on this box, but it reminds me of their packaging. But oh, it has on the label right here. This is a 1B unit. So this isn't a color unit. So for my girls that like to keep it natural, keep it simple. This is a 1B lace, super long bohemian. Let me pull up the details. Well, let me take it out of the box first. We're gonna unbox it. So this is what the box looks like and then here's the wig and then it came with a wig cap inside that's all that came in the box so i know this one's supposed to be super long i do remember that i really should have got some bob y'all i'm sorry i know it's hot and like it's bob season i really should have got some bob so i wore these wigs back a few months ago stuffing hair net all these are lace units though Ooh, this part is deep on her let me show y'all this construction it's looking a little tight in there but this is what she looks like off the bat not the softest 
it it feels synthetic -y for sure not the softest at all but not terrible i do like that it's not super shiny though like it's not super synthetic looking let me show y'all the construction i don't know what the length is of this part but y'all see how deep this part is like it starts up here and goes way back to the darn middle of the back of your head but it's a lace unit it's got two combs in the front comb in the back adjustable straps oh this hairline is real dense but the part isn't though look at the part the part is real flat and like look how far back this part go it's longer than my hand yeah let me read y'all the details and then we're gonna try her on put the makeup on the lace cut the lace off so this is the style icon Ooh, 41 inch i'm gonna have to go get my ruler because i don't know what 41 inches supposed to look like I never had no wig that long. I've had like 36 or 34 as the longest. But this is the Style Icon 41 inch lace front wig. Long wavy synthetic wig with baby hair. Half hand tied, 130% density, 1B. They have other colors in this as well. So this is 41 inches and 130% density. They actually said the density on theirs, which I appreciate. I haven't even been reading the prices, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all know I be reading the prices. So she was $59.99. The blue one was $49.99. And then the pink one was $45.90 when i bought it i'm so sorry i'm gonna go i'm gonna put it on the screen though like i'm gonna go ahead and edit it in on the other ones but yeah i know some people be like oh this ain't cheap or whatever okay um it's cheaper than human hair so you want to pay 240 or 40 you know take a pick you want to pay 160 or 60 you know i don't understand but let me put the makeup on the lace real quick i'm gonna unhook these adjustable straps because i need my room i don't know what y'all thought this was she's looking a little small though like I'm scared she's not gonna be big hair friendly. Okay, so I got the makeup on. Let me cut the lace off. Oh, she definitely needs to be plugged. This hairline is dense. Mm-mm, no. I'm hungry, y'all. I ain't ate all day. But best believe, when I finish this video, I'm gone. Gone. All right, let's try her on. Oh, I said I was gonna get my um, tape measure. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's say 41 inches. Let's see. Oh, she's definitely 41. Actually, a little bit longer. Y'all see where the hair stop at? It's like 42. So, okay, they one line. So, uh, let's try Miss Girl on. I don't know what to call this one. Ooh, hold on. Look at that part, y'all. That part is all the way back there. It don't need to be that deep now, because I ain't even put no concealer in the part yet. That's just makeup on the other side of the lace. That's crazy. She's a little snug, y'all. This one's a little snug, just as I thought. I about figured that when I was looking at the construction. What happened? This just chunk of hair just came out. Did I cut that when I was cutting the lace off? Yeah, she's definitely not all that big hair friendly. Like, it's not even, this is as far up on my head as I got it. But my hair is still sticking out a little bit. But it's not that noticeable because my hair is, like, kind of the same color. Anyway, I really don't like how it feels. Like I said, it's not the softest hair at all. I said the same thing about that blue one, but this one is worse than the blue definitely feels very much synthetic but at least it doesn't look bad though like it really don't i'm gonna brush it out a little bit was it a good idea should i not have done that i don't think i should have done that <laughs> it's too late now kind of like the last one as far as tangling i was gonna say it's not shedding that much but it is so not big head friendly sheds tangles also the lace is not touching either one of my ears so it's not giving 13 so there's that dang they just missing every point right now they ain't got nothing yet other than the length the length is correct it is 41 inches flyaways aren't bad on this one i feel like me brushing it out just made it all frizzy looking but i just need to brush it because it's like tangly and i don't like that definitely shedding though she's definitely shedding but like I said, that part, I did tell y'all that when I was showing y'all the part, it was definitely flat, like not dense at all, which I really do like because it doesn't look so wiggy right here, you know, but the hairline is dense. But if you like wear it like this, you can't really tell. Wow, it's a lot of hair coming out of this. All right, I really don't need to do much to this. I'm gonna hot comb this area. I mean, it's pretty, it's already flat, but I'm gonna just put some wax right here and just run the hot comb over it. This. I will say, even though the part is deep, it's too deep. Like, it ain't nobody's part all the way. Like, it's back here. You gonna have to take some spray, like some black spray and fix that. Just run the hot comb over this. Yeah, it really didn't even need that because that didn't even do much of nothing. Like I said, it's already pretty flat. So I really didn't have to do much there. Like I said, the texture is definitely giving synthetic heat, but it's really not like terrible. Like, if it's something quick you need to throw on, or like run some errands or run to the store and your hair not done, then, you know, bust the inches out real quick. Even if you don't like the part or the hairline is too dense or whatever, like I said, if you wear it, like if you got it like this, obviously that's, you know, not okay. But you wear it like this, you can't even see like how dense the hairline is 
up under here so you just wear it like this and then the part is already super flat but if you don't like that you can always put on a cap a baseball cap you could tie a cute little scarf around you could put a headband on it you could put on a beanie like you know you can make it work but let me put some concealer in the part just to make it give a little more All right, so I don't know what we're gonna call her, y'all. We're gonna call her Rapunzel. Yeah, Rapunzel, we're gonna call her that. But what y'all think of Rapunzel? It had a lot of issues. Like I said, it tangles, it sheds, the texture isn't all that soft at all. The hairline is dense, it's not big head friendly. Yeah, it just had a lot of problems. The only good things about it is it is 41 inches. It actually is 42. They didn't lie there. And the parting space, like, you can go all the way to 10 buck too. So, and it's not dense at all. Like the part is very flat, which is really nice. So it helps it look less wiggy. But that was really the only good things about it. So I'm gonna stand up so y'all can see Miss Girl in action. Let me not snatch this hot comb off on my leg. This is it if I stand up. See, like it's not, it doesn't look terrible. And you could definitely do like a cute little photo shoot with this for sure. It doesn't look terrible at all. Like I put it to the back. Like it's actually really cute. If you don't mind um, the shedding and it does tangle and if your head isn't huge and even though like like I said it's not big head friendly or it's like it's not all that big head friendly like I got it on but my hair is still sticking out I can make this work like y'all don't see my hair sticking out because up under here so I just need to leave the hair down but like I could still make this work obviously I need to put some spray on this part because my part is not gonna go all the way back here but it's actually really cute though like if you put on a cute little sundress or, you know, a cute little, um, you could put a little street wear outfit on, put on a beanie or not. You ain't even got to wear the beanie. Like, it's actually really cute. You really could slick do like a cute little beach photo shoot in this for real. Like, it's real long and wavy type. Like, you can make it work. Like, it's not bad. As far as like, you know, quality and all of that, I really would give this like a 5 out of 10. But I really want to give it a 6 out of 10 because like I said, it's not bad. Like, you can make this work. Like, it's cute. Like, y'all wouldn't walk past me and be like, ooh, you know, what wrong with her hair but like it looks like you wouldn't question it for real like you wouldn't be like you know it's not giving that type of synthetic y'all know some of the synthetic wigs you know you see people out in public you know that wig is synthetic and it don't even look good like you didn't even bother to make it look good and you just be like you know it's not giving that like i said i'm gonna give it a five out of ten i might bump it up to a six because i just think it's like i don't know i kind of i'm kind of feeling it i'm kind of feeling the inches you know but that was the last wig that is it for this cheap amazon wig try on review y'all let me know in the comments which one was y'all's favorite and let me know if y'all want to see more of these videos or send me some amazon wigs that y'all want me to try like some cheap ones y'all want me to try if y'all want me to try more bobs or whatever let me know Send me the good ones. If y'all know what the good ones are, send me those. But yeah, y'all comment below which one's your favorite. One, two, three, Cherry Blossom, Blue Raspberry, or Rapunzel here. I'm gonna say my favorite quality-wise would have to be Miss Cherry Blossom. But like, as far as look goes, definitely Miss Rapunzel here. I'm really kind of feeling it. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i'll see y'all in my next video bye